Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We are dealing with the topic fractions, grade 6, chapter number 7. If you are new on my channel, please like, share and subscribe the channel and also to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification for my next video. So let us start with today's uh, topic. My today's topic is activity for equivalent fraction. So material required three rectangular strips you can take with the same color or different color. This is your choice. Scissors, glue, ruler, sketch pen or color pencils. So first step, draw a vertical line using pencil in your notebook or sheet wherever you are doing this activity. And then next, take one strip. This is your one strip. And now fold it in two equal parts. Just fold it in two equal parts. Just make a proper crease. Open it so that you will see one crease over here. And the remaining half part you can shade. And after that you need to stick near the line. Okay. So this is the one strip. Folded in two equal parts. And now for this Four parts will be there. Next step. Okay. Once again, this is the folded strip. Once again, you fold it. Open it. Make the crease. So, again here you can see that four parts. This is the step. You, are, you can see here four parts. And now here you need to shade over here two parts. Okay. So, this is the first step that we have sticked over here. So, out of two parts, one part is shaded and out of four parts, now here two parts are shaded. Now, take another strip. So, take another strip, fold it in two parts, again fold it in two parts, once again fold it in two parts, make the crease properly. Okay, so one strip folded in two parts, once again folded in two parts, once again folded in two parts and when you will open this, you can see here total eight parts. You can see the crease over here and now here you need to shade four parts, one, two, three, four, four parts you will shade. So here I have added these four parts. And now I will stick this stick on uh, this uh, strip also with the another two strips. So this is the way this is our final output. This is the first strip. This is with these two parts we have done. The next one, once again we have folded this. So this is the one. And next one, once again we have folded this. This is the one. And every time we are shedding the half parts. So half of two will be one part. Half of 4 will be 2 parts, half of 4, uh, half of 8 will be 4 parts. So here I have shaded these 4 parts. Now here you can see that what is the observation? These fractions are different 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 4 by 8 fra fractions are different. But you can see here everywhere the shaded part is same, your shaded part is same. What does it mean? The value of this fraction is same. So such fractions are called equivalent fractions. Where fractions are different, you can see that the different fractions, when, when you will convert this into simplest form, the simplest form will be same or the value of the fraction will be same. Such fractions are known as equivalent fractions. Grade 6, uh, Chapter 1, Knowing Our Numbers, 6 uh, subtopics, whole numbers, 8 subtopics, playing with numbers, 11 subtopics, geometrical, basic geometrical ideas, 4 subtopics, understanding elementary shape, 5 subtopics. So for these 5 chapters, my complete videos are ready. Part 1 link is given in the description and links for the other subtopics mentioned in part 1. Please go through and find out the topics and subtopics. Same activity instead of this rectangular strip, 
you can do using circles also you can cut four circle and then just fold it have once again fold it you will get once again fold it once again fold it so by paper folding activity with the circles also you can do the same thing so here also you can see that the fractions are different but the everywhere your shaded part is same so such type of fractions are known as equivalent fractions Chapter number five under basic uh, sorry understanding ele ele understanding elementary shapes five topics and subtopics are mentioned over here again the part one link is mentioned in the description and links for the other subtopics are mentioned in part one please go through with the topics and subtopics now we will do some examples to get the proper concept of uh, equivalent fraction. Write three equivalent fractions of three by seven. So what we will do? We will multiply by two by two. Then we will multiply by three by three, and then we will multiply by four by four. Why we are multiplying by three by three, four by four? What does it mean? Three by three means one. Four by four means one. Five by five means one. And we know that if we multiply by one, we get the same number. So to get equivalent fraction we multiply by 2 by 2 3 by 3 4 by 4 5 by 5 depends upon how many equivalent fractions you are supposed to find and now multiply this 3 to the 6 upon 14 then 9 upon 21 12 upon 21 and don't forget to write down the last step just these are the equivalent fractions of 3 upon 7 Now write an equivalent fraction of 2 by 5 with numerator 12. So convert this question in this form 2 upon 5 is equal to 12 is the numerator denominator you need to find fill up the blanks. So what is the relation between this 2 and 12? How do you get 2 from 12? If you multiply by 6 then you will get 2 6 are 12. So here 6 upon 6. And now we will multiply 2, 6, 12. This is already there. So 5, 6, 30. So this is 30. And your final answer will be 30. Take another example. 16 upon 40 with denominator 10. So write down 10 in place of denominator and numerator you are supposed to find. So which two numbers are given here? 40 and 10. What is the relation between 40 and 10? If we divide 40 by 4, then you will get 10. So here we will divide by 4 by 4. So 16 divided by 4 will be 4. So your answer is 4. Now fill up the blanks. So here you can see that 3 upon 4. So 4, 5 are 20. So 3, 5 za will be 15. Now 3, 7 za 21. So 4, 7 za will give you 28. 4, 8s are 32, so 3, 8s are will give you 24. Chapter 4, Basic Geometrical Ideas. Uh, I have made videos on 4 topics and subtopics. Part 1 link is given in the description. Link for the other subtopics are mentioned in part 1. Please go through with the topics and subtopics. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and also to watch my next video.